3D printing is more than just dogs and T-Rex heads. So we've come to SFM Technologies to find out how they're using 3D printing to make aerospace components. Gary, can you introduce yourself and SFM Technologies? Gary Wilson, I'm the uh, technical sales manager for the 3D printing side of SFM Technologies. We do a range of uh, facilities in the business, ranging right from design all the way through to manufacturing to painting and out of the door. So it's a one-stop shop, basically, for a variety of industries, ranging from aerospace to agricultural. How did you get into 3D printing? Because obviously that's not where you started with the water jet and the laser cutting. 3D printing came about um, after a discussion with myself and uh, Richard, the managing director. He was interested in, in 3D um, and I'd done some 3D printing in my previous role. Between us we had this problem that we had to look at for a helicopter manufacturer. Between us, with the helicopter manufacturer, we came up with a design for a part of the helicopter that required us to do it in 3D. I'm George Gustantinidis, the Managing Director of MVR Engineering, and we offer a variety of services to industry, as well as machine tools and 3D printers. When you come from the traditional manufacturing point of view, you need to have a skilled operator of a machine, whether it's a CAM programmer, a CAD programmer, and also then the time served operator or the tool maker to come and run it. 3D printing takes away a lot of that skill because all you need to be good at is maybe CAD and operating the software which produces the code that's run on the machine. So in effect, you could have somebody that's an apprentice being able to run the machine virtually unsupervised from day one. So from a, from a skills gap point of view, 3D printing can be slotted in into anywhere. So whether you're a designer or even an apprentice, you can run the machine without having years and years of training, both from a safety aspect of, uh, point of view, but also on a quality of product point of view. Also, why do you think people would 3D print stuff instead of just manufacturing on a CNC miller? Many benefits of a 3D printer. One, once the program or the model is in the machine, you can just repeat and repeat again and again, and it'll stay there for as long as you want. As long as you've got the material, it'll print all through the week, all through the weekend, 24 hours a day, seven days a week. So it cuts your manufacturing time down quite considerably. And it's the same print every single time. We're seeing that 3D printing using the FDM method is actually starting to be adopted in places, for example, like the casting industry, where pattern making is a skill that is being eclipsed. We're seeing that also in the jigs and fixtures where it takes a lot less time for somebody to design a 3D printable jig and fixture, whether it be soft jaws or a CMM fixture. But then we're also seeing it being used in end use components, even in the aerospace industry. And this is a prime example of how SFM has been using the Big Red Pro. There's all these other 3D printers on the market, but why did you go with this machine? It's size. At the time of purchase, we needed a, a machine that had the capacity of over a metre cube, which this machine has. So this was ideal for the work that we were preparing to do on it. Um, and it fitted the bill with the material, with the size, and relatively with the price. The machine that you see behind me here is the Big Rep Pro. The Big Rep Pro is the top of the range of machines that Big Rep uh, produce, and it is squarely placed in the market where you want to have rapid prototyping, but also something that you can use as an end product within the automotive, aerospace, or manufacturing industries. This particular machine has been designed from the ground up and moving away from the traditional way of building a 3D printer, where you're using hobby mechanics and hobby design and just scaling it up. 
and they started to use servo motors with a Bosch Rexroth control system. So you get all the benefits of servo-driven kinematics in a 3D printer. At the moment, our, our 3D printing uh, with the FDM process is, is gone from strength to strength and we have many orders for, for this printer. But I can see in time that the metal 3D printing will come into it. It's, I wouldn't say in its infancy, um, but it's just starting off. But certainly I think metal 3D printing will be certainly the way forward. Every year that passes, we see significant improvements in the speed and also the materials that are available to us for use in the 3D printing industry. So yes, there are a lot of things to be said about the metal industry, the metal 3D printing side of things, but there is definitely scope for most machine shops that are dealing with the traditional manufacturing methods to have a 3D printer to help them with all of the tasks that may take a bit too much time or too much cost doing it the traditional way.